hello, hello. Welcome. Enjoy the music while we are waiting for the rest to arrive. And you can find a chat somewhere. It's on the left or on the right, I don't know. And share with us where you're joining in from today. And we will see some magic happen thanks to stream alive in the background i hope this works I it should mm -hmm. i cannot see anything popping up but it should Mm. Alright, just make sure you've restarted the interaction. Uh, yeah, you, yeah, you, you told me this before and I forgot the minute. So let's try again. I'm so sorry. Um, we are live, ladies and gentlemen. So now we can see them. Okay. You can find your location on the map in my show somewhere. There, for example. Well, I can see people from the US joining and isn't it like in the middle of the night in uh, in India right now? I'm not sure. Definitely late. Um, and um, yeah, 8.30. Okay. 8.30 in India is actually just about afternoon. People are just coming home from work and just about to do something for dinner. It's actually a good time for webinars in India. I also don't like to wake up in the morning to join Zoom <laughs> meetings, but I think that's the point of today. Um, there is no appropriate time to join a Zoom meeting. And this one is for Lux, which I, <laughs> which, which, which I promise this one is for you, Lux, if you didn't know. Oh, ah, this is what I was alluding to. I never knew uh, this was possible. And I, I totally forget to share where I am from. I can see 30 people minus me and a few bots, so uh, bots, so maybe we are 25 people there. There I am, Dortmund, Germany. And no Germans today. Hmm, what a shame. Then I would, I think uh, people had enough time to join. Thanks a lot for. Sh where is Munich? I can. I didn't see it. Or, or probably before I started the map, so I'm, I'm sorry to uh, I missed that. Uh, but I would uh, like to hand over to Lux for a minute, so he can do the intro. So there was the dramatic effect. Uh, Lux, over to you. Hey, thank you, Syed. Gosh, I mean, um, I think I intersected with Syed a few months ago. And then, you know, it's one of those celebrated things where you keep intersecting and worlds collide. You find that you have common friends, even if you haven't met in flesh and blood. And that kept happening. And exactly 24 hours ago, I was in another session, actually a little more than 24 hours ago, 27 hours ago, uh, learning again from Syed uh, on, on how to put my stream deck to good use, how to put OBS to good use. And uh, so, so glad to have him do this session with us. Uh, in fact, I'm going to just let Peter chime in as well, because Peter has been talking a fair bit with Saeed in preparation for this uh, session. And he's been teasing us internally in the office saying, you won't believe what Saeed just did today. This is am amazing. This is awesome. So, so Peter, why, why don't you share what you've been teasing us about? Absolutely. Uh, so, yeah, we're delighted to have Saeed joining us today. Um, if you've not heard of him before, he's also known as the Facilitator. Uh, that's because it's his mission to help create online events that are memorable and enjoyable and not one of those events that you just have to join because your boss has told you to do so. Um, throughout this event, uh, Sai is going to be sharing some interactions, some word clouds, polls, that kind of thing. Uh, to participate, all you need to do is put it in the chat. 
uh, just type it in the chat when the um, interaction comes up and you'll see what you write in the chat will come up on Syed's screen. I say Syed's screen, it'll actually come up behind Syed's, uh, like an, an overlay, which is really cool, something I desperately want to learn how to do. Uh, so with that said, uh, over to you. Yeah, th thanks a lot for, for the uh, intro, nothing to add there at least. Um, for today, um, I usually never have a plan when I do these sessions. I have a rough outline of the rough idea, but still I prepared some um, stuff for us. Um, and I will tell you about all the little things in a minute. Uh, I want it to be as interactive as possible. And also I want to have a dialogue with you. So if there are any questions, any remarks or anything you would like to share with me and us, please feel free to do so. However, um, I have prepared some housekeeping rules for us. Not because I like rules, but just to show you the effect of having some rules. Usually you have, I don't know, uh, you start a meeting by um, having a little monologue like I am having, or what else, what uh, the, uh, another way to do it, for example, is you could have visuals that support you. And um, we, we are still on Zoom, just saying, just in, in, in case you are wondering, we are still on, on Zoom, however, I always point in the wrong direction because it's it's not mirror it's mirrors. So we have um, one thing um, I would like you to do is to stay on mute, just because so I don't um, hear echo in my in my headphones. I always say this as a joke. I have a, a mute all button here so I can mute you, which I will do right now because I'm hearing an echo. But this is just a way to tell people or to share with people. Um, how today's session will be. So rule number one, just like in the Fight Club, right? And then we have rule number two is feel, please feel free to turn on your cameras. You will see why. I don't have to explain why because um, usually um, if cameras are turned off and I am having one of my monologues, I feel like I'm hosting a podcast, but this is not a podcast. It's an interactive session. So also seeing some nice faces um, uh, so I can look at you. It would, it, I would really appreciate it and there will be some effects that will maybe encourage you or discourage you to turn on your cameras so then let's move on to the next one please use the chat to send reactions and i will explain to you what i mean by that what i mean is um i, I need to go back to um I need to go back to rule number one. Please mute yourselves. I really appreciate it. Thanks. Um, that's the, the nice thing about having these things. However, please use the chat to send reactions. By reactions, I don't mean press reaction button in Zoom. I mean, send me an emoji. So if you like something, you can send a smiley emoji. If you hate what I'm doing, you can send the poop emoji. You can try it out and you will see what happens. So this way we can communicate a little bit without you having to um, unmute yourselves and um, you know it's hard to have a conversation with 35 people and as you can see you your your reactions popping up in my in my background so i can always see how you're feeling like a little mood meter in um yeah okay not normally it's a it's a lot of more of of poop emojis and if you know me, yeah, there they are. You, you send an alpaca or uh, in, uh, a llama, which is the same in Zoom. It doesn't make any difference. It's, there is that. And then, oh, I'm, super, I'm super excited. There's a lot going on here. Um, let me move on to the last one for today is, if you have a question, please type it in the chat. And please start your question with hashtag Said. If you wonder what is a Said, that's me, that's my name. So um, f this is for a certain reason, because as you can see, when you look in the chat, there is a lot of stuff going on. I'm the facilitator for today, or I am the trainer, or I'm the coach or the presenter or whatever. It's hard for me to stick to my content and to, uh, what I want to deliver and also catch up with all the questions. Of course, we have also Streamlive where you can have um, a Q&A that's automated and filters all the questions. But I will just do me the favor if you have a question that's directed towards me, start it with hashtag 
Said. If it's just a conversation you're having, um, or you want to, I don't know, um, gossip talk about me, you don't need to hashtag me. That's totally fine, and I will probably not read it. So I think if you want my attention, hashtag Said. If you don't need my attention, and um, do whatever you like, and I will show you. I will show you why. For a certain reason. The reason is the following. I can filter questions on my side. On my side. Ha ha ha. For example, Carlos who's, who's saying this is cool. Thanks a lot for your feedback and I can show your questions directly. I have them in the queue. Um, so I can sh uh, show them directly and I can also of course show everything else you, you are saying. But I don't need to because I don't need to highlight every single thing. And then we have Diana, please share your magic. I will, uh, as, as good as I can. Thanks a lot for joining. Um, Diana or Diana, I'm not sure. Please forgive me for butchering up names. Mm, so it's, it is what it is. And then we have um, Peter saying, hey Said, how do you track all the questions? It doesn't matter, just enjoy the music uh, and enjoy the, uh, enjoy the show. For today, it will not be a tutorial, of course, because it's only 60 minutes and I cannot explain everything, but I have um, a tool. Uh, you can do uh, similar things with Streamlight, for example. Um, and what I'm doing right here is I'm using um, a tool that's called OBS Studio, where I can add stuff to my camera. So it can be screen sharing, it can be images, or it can be capturing any other tool, like if um, this, this is the map from Streamlight and I can just put it in my background, in my foreground, or anywhere else, and I can turn it off with a push of one button. And then we have Tina, OBS or Ecamm. Um, if you don't know what these are, these are just two tools that can create such um, uh, vi visuals and this virtual camera. I am a Windows user, so this is not a question. Ecamm is not available for Windows, only for Mac, and if you're a Mac user, you can use use both. And I will have uh, two more questions and then I will just move on with a little icebreaker. We have Romy side. What's your favorite video tool and uh, what is your idea to use what for what kind of event? Thanks for your feedback. Um, by v if you mean by video tool, something like this. So I'm using OBS Studio, which is free because I don't like to spend money on things that are also available for free. Um, yeah, just being efficient with my budget. But there are also a lot of other um, tools that are pretty cool. But this one, I'm so used to it, and it can do a lot of things, as you can see. Um, yeah. And if there are any, any follow-ups, yeah, yeah. And then Brandon is asking for my um, for my hat. If you know me, you know I always wear like a, a little hat, which is even. Uh, I can I can show it to you if you like. This, this, this oh, um, this is a very sad story because my hat is here. I have it for f since the pandemic started, and I washed it like seven times, and there is uh, the seams are open, and I couldn't get a new one, which is the same design. So I looked everywhere online. Um, I think, yeah, it's hard to get the same one. So I'm going with going to the barber and showing my my head but the head the head is still there um okay and feel free to flex on us yes i will um i think flexing is something positive right so yeah i will definitely will and then doing something like this to make this disappear and also doing something like this to make these disappear and just in case i want to remind you of the rules because i can hear you unmuting yourselves you remember? I think I don't have to, to say much. It's just a little visual reminder. So um, another thing I would like to share with you today is I ask you to turn your cameras on. Today will be recorded. So if, you, if you're watching the recording and couldn't uh, join live, welcome to today's session and I want to share with you, I have so many buttons, where are there? Oh, I forgot to snap my fingers. There you are. So you are live with me in my room. Um, so even if you watch the recording afterwards, uh, yeah, that's what people usually do. They wave at themselves in Zoom meetings. I 
don't know why, but this is kind of a cultural thing, I, I guess. Um, so if you want to be in my room, if you turn your cameras on. If you don't want to be in my room, you can please turn them off. Um, and also a little thing, and then we will move on to our first little, well, our second little interaction. I have a little hype meter. You don't need to use all these things. I'm just flexing and showing things that are possible. So there's a lot to see. I have a little hype meter which shows active chatters in the last five minutes, minutes, which is eight. Hmm? Maybe I think we are 30 people in the room. Maybe we can, we can crank this up to a little bit more than eight. All you have to do is just be active in the chat. This is kind of a little KPI for me to see, or that there it is to see um, if people are still awake. Me personally, I'm an introvert, which doesn't mean I don't like to talk. I don't like people around me, but I like it if they are not in the same room as me. So this is totally fine. I'm in my comfort zone, but um, I'm a textrovert. I don't know if you know what this is, but somebody who is very confident in writing, chatting, um, rather than picking up the phone and calling somebody, right? Mm. So for me, I would encourage you rather to uh, use the chat and talk to me and talk to each other than just being silent and watching or not even watching. Um, I know people see this differently. Some people don't like if you facilitate something um, to have like too much going on in the chat because it's distracting. For me, it's, yeah, they're still alive, so I don't care. Uh, they, they still have the Zoom window open. They are still at least with one eye uh, focused on me, so rather having it this way, this way than uh, people just watching and then after 60 minutes, it's finally over, okay? Yeah, and um, uh, uh, Lux, uh, Textrovert is a thing. You can look it up. I didn't make this up my... So, and there are a lot of us. So usually when I'm not presenting, I'm in the chat the whole time and having fun and making remarks and giving feedback um, just to keep myself awake. You know, if, if, if nothing happens for more than 20 seconds, uh, people get a little bit tired and then uh, you, you know how it feels. So I prepared a little exercise for us today. Um, and I have... I have a few prompts and what I want you to do is the following. I hope this works. Um, what I want you to do is, I have question number one is, and I will um, put away your faces so you don't get covered. Do you host virtual sessions by yourself? Now please type in the chat, look for the emoji. It's either the thumbs up or the thumbs down in any skin color um, you like. and we can just have a quick pulse check if you are all facilitators, educators, trainers who host virtual sessions. I can see a, a few thumbs down, but mostly it's thumbs up. Okay. And I can also see 20 people participating in this little challenge, which is totally fine. Okay, but no, I don't, I have no idea who of you actually facilitates um, virtual sessions, but that's not the point, right? Just reading the audience a little bit and okay, for me, roughly it's 95% of you who do something online in front of audiences. That's all I need for the moment. And you, of course, can also be active and share your, um, yeah, share your ideas and your thoughts with me. That's the whole point of this little exercise. And then we have exercise number two, and I will get back to the Q and A in a minute after we have done this. So if there are any questions, you can just throw them in in between. Um, please use the, the chat, not the reactions in Zoom itself, just as the others are doing. Go into the chat and then click on the emojis um, button and look for a thumbs up or a thumbs down. That's the way it would work here, okay? Then we have question number two. I don't have any tush, so sorry. Um, do you prefer main rooms? or breakout rooms as a facilitator or even as a participant? I don't know, there are mixed feelings. Um, for me, not to, wanting to be biased or influencing you, but yeah, who cares? If, you, if I hear the word breakout room, 
uh, kill me now. So it doesn't matter what's going on in this breakout room. I don't feel very comfortable. Um, it's mostly awkward, of course. It depends on how you facilitate them. And I think you understood the rules. Look for the house icon in your icon set if you are somebody who prefers the main room. Or look for the door if you, are pref if you prefer the breakout rooms. And again, mostly, as I, could, as I can see, mostly people who like to have an audience in the main room and interact with them there, just as we are doing for the moment. Okay? And then last but not least, I forgot what the last question is, but we will see it in a second. The last question... Do, why, why, why? Did I skip one? Oops. Oh, this is when tech did and doesn't work, but we will fix this in a second. So, you just need to give me one second. I switched something. I switched something. Whoop. I'm not sure. Something went wrong. Mm. Okay. Um, if you give me a second, I will really fix it really quick. So, I could play your music, but I don't want to. And there it is. See, managing things on the fly. And here we go, hopefully. Here we go, hopefully. Meh. 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 Meh, 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 meh. Okay, um, then we will do it without, but the last question is, um, have you ever used Streamalive? As we are here, hosted by Streamalive, you can again just give me a thumbs up if you ever used it yourself, and if never used it, please. Okay. I, I can see uh, Lux is counting already. So, um, and if you're wondering, yeah, but we are only like 30 people, why are there 90, um, 90 emojis flying around? Yeah, it's because I triplicate them just for the hype. So it's three, three times each emoji you send me. So um, otherwise it would look a little bit, I, know, I don't know, um, boring maybe. So let's see. And then there is, that I hope you are still awake. Um, I hope you are still awake. Okay, nobody asked for a cat, but that's also fine. Uh, thanks for sharing that with me. And I would like to go back to my Q&A. Here you are. Still a lot of cameras on. And something went wrong, but I have to go through them. Give me a second. Uh, there's always something going wrong. Um, if I missed your question, please just type it again. But let me see. Hmm. This is awkward. I lost some questions for some reason, but however, um, Judith is asking if this poll is in stream live or OBS. Um, that's not a, com a fair comparison because um, OBS is just a tool that adds something to my uh, to my video. Um, but to your question itself, this one is not created with uh, with Streamalive. But we will see um, how Streamalive looks like in a minute. So there's all there are also polls, there are also word clouds, there's a map you already saw, and a lot of other cool features and slides you can use. But this one specifically, or the the, the, uh, the polls with the chat emojis were not created in OB, uh, in, in Streamalive. Then, do you suggest delivering trainings wearing a headset? Um, why not? I always, I, I'm maybe not uh, the benchmark, I even wear my, my headphones when I'm not doing anything. I mean, I, I'm not even listening to music. I'm so used to them. I have them on my, the part of my head somehow. Um, but I think you should always wear um, a headset in earphones if you don't like them to be visible. I have some somewhere. 
So we will like, oh, let me see. I have these ones. They cost me like $20 on, on Amazon. They're in ears. I could put them around my, my ears and have the cable on the back so people won't even see. And they're, you can get them in clear or in black or in any other color so people don't even see that you are wearing them. It's always great to, um, to don't have echo. And I would also recommend, uh, I'm a bad example, but I would also recommend always having a wired headphone. So um, using, use, using Bluetooth, yeah, I can move more and I wear them because I move more, but it's not reliable. It's the same like uh, never use Wi-Fi when you do something that's important. Always have a cable, right? It also works, but I know for certain mine just disconnect every like hour randomly for two minutes and then they connect back for some reason I cannot figure out. So please make sure to at least, I have a plug here, so at, at least to be wired. But to your question, whatever works best for you, but I would recommend to, um, to have earphones, especially if you're having conversations. So if people are talking, if nobody is talking to you, if you're giving like a webinar, for example, and there is no back channel, nobody's talking to you, you don't need to wear headphones at all, maybe. Right, or if you're just recording something, you don't need headphones. Headphones at all. I hope this answers the questions. And for some reason, um, uh, because I messed up one of my settings, I lost some of the questions. But I will go back to them um, in the in the main chat. Um, Said, would you be kind enough to share your tech setup? Um, I'm not prepared, so. I, I would have a second camera that can show you my setup, but I will share something with you um, the minute I figure out where I put it. However, what I have a camera, hmm? nothing, nothing special, and I have a microphone. I only have one of these fancy microphones because I want to look like a podcast host. You don't need it, but if you have it, why not using it? And my, one of my um, favorite tools is i will unplug it quickly is one of these which is a stream deck by elgato i have two of them i will not unplug the second one because i did some cable management the other day and i have a third version on my phone this helps me to just click one button so for example i if i click on these this button the questions will disappear and if i click it again so i'm just clicking it with my with my other hand or i could um, do this to let you disappear or do this get you back or to switch to screen sharing or do other fancy things like this. So my stream deck is my most valuable um, asset I have on my desk. Um, and you don't need one, but once you have one, you will you don't want to miss it, right? Um, and speaking about tech, I already talked about OBS, which just creates or it's, a, it's the basis of creating all these visuals. So I can combine, you can see I'm, I'm it's layers right here, right? There is this one, and then there is me, and then there is you, and then there is my actual background. So this is not like a green screen or something. You saw me standing up and, and getting my um, my head, for example. Um, yeah, and then having a monitor and headphones. That's all you need. But mine looks a little bit fancy. I don't know why I have like three cameras um, here. But I will. I just posted about it some days ago. I would have to look it up where it is, and then I could share it with you so you can see my full setup. Um, I will do this while I'm talking. I'm uh, okay. And moving on to the next question side would be, uh, I think we, uh, I'm having vision. I'm having visions of you set in front of 50 screens like Batman. First of all, it was not Batman, it was Alfred. Batman never was in the office, but um, but you're right. I have two monitors and I often I don't use them both. It's not about how many monitors you have. I recommend in general having at least two monitors. One where I can see you. So this is where you are, right um, uh, where my camera is. So I have the gallery view there and I have my OBS somewhere and I have the other tools I need open and my notes and so on and so on. However, like having two and the second one could be for uh, all the things you share. So one is for you, like your, uh, your little bed cave and then you have a screen where you can put your slides, where you can put the tools you want to share um, uh, and all the other things. Only having one monitor 
it's, it is a struggle, to be honest. Um, but you can also do it with one. You can do it on a, uh, on a laptop, if you like, if you like to work that way. But I just recently, because you asked, I just recently got an ultra-wide monitor, which is, oh, it's heaven. I have an ultra-wide monitor. There's so much space to put all the stuff on it. Um, and the second one, which is 4K. So if you can afford it, and if you have this space on your desk, um, please do so. And I only talked so long because I wanted to share. You can look at it later. I need your focus now. But I shared my LinkedIn post, uh, post like two weeks ago, which shows my, um, which shows my setup right here. And if you're too lazy to go on LinkedIn, I can also share with you the image right here. There it is. Okay, there is that. Um, so if I missed any of your questions, please. Sorry for that. Just re repeat it. Um, I'm too excited at the moment and have a lot of things going on right here. And now again, let me see. Uh, I think this works. Okay. Where was I? Um, because we also talked about um, Stream Live, for example. Now, if I do the polls in Stream Live, no, I do not. But you have to wait for my signal. Mm, this, this is what, what I learned. Uh, you have to wait for my signal, and then we will do something together, which is a little word cloud. And you can see everything you are sharing will pop up behind me. So moving you away. And I, sh I should have prepared a question. But if you get an invite to a Zoom meeting, what is the first thought that goes to your head? That would be my question. My, I don't know, is OMFG, is this one single word or is it multiple words? I'm not sure. And you can see them popping up in my background. So this one is made with Stream Alive. And probably a little bit too big. So I can move it around in real time like this. And lock it. And again, you can see just because I want to show off So I just added you to my room just to raise questions. And hopefully, um, hopefully, um, this are little things that can encourage you at least to keep your focus on me rather than reading your emails, right? So. Everything that, that helps me to get the audience or to keep the audience attention is pretty welcome, especially if it's like, it's like a little surprising effect. Usually we are fighting against distraction. You know, people have their cameras off, so I really appreciate uh, everyone who has their camera on it and also uh, the rest of you. Um, but if you have your camera off and you're joining a meeting and you are muted for 60 minutes, the host doesn't even know you are there. Um, you're probably like folding um, laundry or reading your emails or working on this one presentation. Sometimes it's a Zoom call is like a break from work. Oh, I'm, I mean, it's really, really boring Zoom call and I don't even need to look because it could have been email or it could have been a tweet, which is even worse. So nobody needs my attention. If I catch like three of the phrases the moderator or the presenter says, I'm totally fine, I can work on other things that are more important. So if you have like little things you can do visually, at least that's, um, that's my hope. You can get back people to focus on you. And again, this is made in Stream Alive, tutush. Um, and if you want to, I can, if you want to, I can do something, which is, 
I'll let you look behind the curtain, but therefore you have to be patient with me. Um, this one, and I think it's this one. Let me see. Mm -hmm. And I will show you. There it is. So this is how my streamer life looks. If it's untweeted, it's just a window that I screen capture and add it to my, to my screen. And if you know what chroma key is, like green screen effect, everything that's green is eliminated from this, the screen and add a little opacity to it so that it kind of looks like a hologram. That's the whole magic. And of, of course, if you know what's possible and if you know where to start and how to do it, then it's pretty easy to do. And you can do this with every tool you like. I do this with Miro or I don't want to name others we are in. Uh, but but it, it doesn't matter. As long as it has a window that pops up on your, uh, on your display, I can capture it. I can add some effects to it. I can um, make it kind of 3D or whatever I like because I have the time. And for me, it's just fun to create these things. And hopefully, this is also fun for you to watch somehow. Um, so, oh no, no, why did I, why, what, 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 no, 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 there, there, I'm back. Okay, <coughs> too many buttons, I, um, I told Lux before, and now music is playing for some reason, no, I don't want music, could you, could you please, I, I, I told Lux before, um, what I usually do is, you now if you attended like uh, my session yesterday, I know some of you were there it was about obs and the stream deck and so on and so on i don't want to repeat the same stuff i don't want to show you the same stuff so i set up everything new for at least change some things for every station i host therefore some of my buttons changed some of my settings don't don't work 100 percent. but who cares I'm, nobody will sue me hopefully um what i just did is this is screen sharing if you ignore that you can see myself like 20 times, um, this is just you know because of the camera effect, but this is how my OBS looks like. And um, this is where I manage everything. And I have a lot of different scenes, like the one with only my face, this one. And this is the main tool I'm working in. Um, have Again, all the scenes, and then I can add all the media I want, like images, slides, um, browser sources, so just a URL to any website, um, screen sharing, videos, YouTube videos, um, text, uh, solid colors if I like to, and the rest is how do I combine them? You know? And how can I create a story? How can I create an effect that matches whatever my meeting is about? There's still some stuff going on behind me. Okay. I don't want to go in the detail because I don't need to show you all the buttons and where to click them, but that's how I do it. And if I can do it, you can also do it. Right? And of course, I'm doing this for way longer. I think since the pandemic started, uh, you know, getting bored really, really quickly and um, trying to figure out ways to do things more exciting. What would a Zoom meeting look like that I would like to attend? And I would like to attend my own meetings. Um, maybe uh, sounds a little bit cocky, but yeah. Otherwise, what's the point of doing them? What's the point of hosting an event that you wouldn't like to join yourself? Right? So it's always Said first. I need to entertain myself. I need to make it fun for myself. And then hopefully the audience or the participants will also like it. Speaking of which, um, one thing I would like to share with you is what I'm doing at the moment, you know, having a session like this. It could be a workshop, it could be a training, a webinar, whatever format you choose, as, lo uh, as long as you have a tool that supports a, a, a camera. can be anything. As long as you can add your um, webcam to it, this will work, kind of, okay? What I could also do is, it will literally take me like 30 seconds 
to stream whatever I'm doing right now to LinkedIn, YouTube, Twitch, um, I don't know, uh, to all the platforms that have um, like a streaming option. The, so the, the, I don't need to change anything. The only thing I need to do is, say, oh, okay, this is not just virtual cameras sending to Zoom, but I have to put in my credentials for uh, YouTube, for example, and then I could do a live stream with everything you are seeing right now. Or I could say, okay, Zoom is boring, let's switch to Butter. If you don't know what Butter is, it's a video conferencing tool that also supports a microphone and a camera. We could switch to another tool in 20 seconds and I can just move on from where I stopped. So, because everything is prepared, everything has its button and it works independent of the tool I am using it in actually. And, um, and the third thing is recording. So everything I'm doing right now is also recorded. And yeah, it's recorded in Zoom, but what I'm doing is I'm recording it in OBS Studio itself. There's this record button, so everything you are seeing um, on your screen will also be recorded. And the difference is it doesn't matter which Zoom plan I have. If you have a free Zoom plan, I know some of you know better, right, Lisa? Um, if you have a free Zoom plan, the resolution is very, very low for your camera and your recordings, so 30, 60p or something, don't ask for details. If you have the, the first paid plan, I think it's this pro plan. So the first paid plan, you can get 720p for your camera and also for your recordings. And if you have the, the larger one, um, it's up to 1080p. Of course, there are, there's a price behind it. Again, I'm very um, budget friendly. I just record it myself and I record in 2K at the moment. I could also record in 4K, but it wouldn't make any difference. I'm recording in 2K and I uh, already talked with Lux and Peter before for today's session. Uh, the recording, if you want to rewatch it or if you, hey, if you only here for the recording, um, this is not recorded in Zoom. This is recorded in OBS Studio. And you will see the difference between a Zoom recording and a recording with an external tool in a super high quality for the sound and for the video. Especially, and you all host, most of you host um, virtual sessions, you said. If you're doing like this, imagine what I'm doing right now would not just be pure chaos, chaos, but it would be like a webinar, for example. I could take it afterwards and cut it into chunks, for example, and create an e-learning out of it. And because it's not only Zoom quality, it's ultra high quality, um, you will be able to see all the little details. Some you can see now, you, ca you can't see now because of the restrictions of Zoom, for example. But if you watch the recording, you will see like this little text. I don't know if you can read it, right? But if you watch the recording, it will be in very, very high quality and you will be able to read all the things. Just saying for repurposing um, your content uh, to create um, learning videos or to, sh to share the videos afterwards, why not also using the recording like this and I have full control over over everything I'm doing right now and if you heard it in the in the intro and you will hear it here is in the outro also having some music or sound effects or whatever if you didn't realize I didn't touch screen sharing or anything in zoom itself so I don't change anything everything you see is on my overlaid on my camera and even the sound goes kind of through my microphone it's a virtual cable and um, it goes through my microphone audio input and I can add whatever sound I would like to add to it. Um, so there is that. I'm just looking through my notes because, as I said before, it's pure chaos, but still want to show you as much as possible. I would like to just see if I can catch up with any questions. Um, probably I lost some, but please be so kind and have patience with me if any question I didn't answer yet, um, please just re repeat them or copy and paste them and then I will read them out loud. So could we kindly see what intercase looks like, what the intercase looks like with a PowerPoint um, keynote on screen? Um, I don't have a PowerPoint open, but it's exactly what I showed you with the um, 
stream live. So I sh showed it before, it's just screen capturing. Something is on my second screen and then I can move it around and put it in a corner the way I like it. So this could be, this could easily be a PowerPoint presentation or whatever. And I'm just seeing, I'm still catching everything as a word cloud that people have said in the last 15 minutes, but it's okay. I'm also learning. Um, and it's um, just, um, yeah, I, I got that part. Yeah, you're talking about um, interfaces and things. Um, my whole point is it doesn't matter what tool it is you are trying to show on your display. It really doesn't matter. You just need to capture it and then you can add some fine details to it. Um, Said, are you creating custom graphics for your streams? Like the picture frame w uh, with everyone's camera? Yes. No, not really. So I don't want to lie. So we're talking about this one. Um, the image itself, so the frame is made by my dear friend Lucy Agolini, who has an, um, an icon pack, a visuals pack with I think 9,000 different icons you can purchase if you like. Um, I have one because why should I create visuals myself if there's already a professional who created them for me and I just need to um, uh, use them. And it saves me a lot of time. So shameless plug, but you asked. So uh, let me see. And if you like to use something like uh, this, I think if you sign up for, uh, for the newsletter, you get a hundred free um, icons to start with. I have 9,000, like the cats are from there, as, as you can see them here. And the frame is from there and some other little elements um, are also just from there. And I customize them with adding my own kind of branded colors. Um, Said, can you use OBS and stream live in Butter? Yeah, why not? So there is no Butter plugin, Butter integration from Streamlife, um, or Lux will tell us his plans for other platforms, but it doesn't matter because um, you can still have it open in a browser. I'm not using the integration right now. I have it in my browser and screen sharing it, right? So I'm not using the Zoom integration of, uh, of Streamlife. So yes, it will work the same way. It also supports, uh, Butter supports a, a camera. So that's all you need for this, right? Um, and OBS doesn't care about which tool you use. So long story short, yes, you can use it. You can also use it in Microsoft Teams, but I would not re recommend using Microsoft Teams in the first place. Um, that was my daily MS Teams rent. So Said, uh, does it put a lot of load on your computer laptop to run OBS with lots of screens plus recording? My laptop so uh, sounds like a jet engine just sharing the screen. Hmm, then probably I'm not, you can try it out, it's free. So you can try out uh, how much um, load it adds on your um, PC or your Mac. But yeah, generally, yeah, the more I have going on on my, I mean, just adding a second monitor to my PC. So the pixels have to be rendered somehow, it will be more load. Having OBS open will be more load, even if it's lightweight, but still. And if I have all the visuals, three different cameras, and five different tools open, of course, it will add more load, but I cannot tell you if your laptop can handle it. What I can recommend is try it out and see if it makes any difference for you. Yes. Um, if I didn't answer the questions fully, please, if uh, follow-up questions are welcome. Uh, first of all, really, I, I, I like the avatar. A nice one. Said, uh, can I use this along with a keynote presentation? I mean, yeah, sure. Uh, you don't, you, we're not talking about keynote tool. We're talking about a keynote presentation, right? On stage, is, is that a, qu a question? Oh, okay, I can see uh, nodding, thanks. Yeah, sure. I don't need to stream this. I can also put it on a Beamer, for example, in the background or on a TV and share it with the TV um, or anything else. And if you have a little stream deck, you can just push the buttons or you have the mobile app from from Elgato Stream Deck, you can hold it in your hands like a presenter and you know, button one does this effect, button two changes the slide, button three does audio or whatever. So yeah, it's um, it's possible. I've never done it myself, but it's totally possible. Just all you need is a display where to show the things that you are seeing right now, okay? I hope this helps, but I can see you 
nodding, awesome. Um, the background overlays uh, would only work best when you have a plain background like yours. I don't really have a plain background. Um, for me, it's mine is, is totally different because I'm using another effect. I don't have a green screen, but I still can key out stuff and I can you know, have um, can move in my room, but you could use a green screen so to key out yourself or you can just overlay something properly. I mean, have your camera and then overlay it without having this 3D depth that, that I'm showing. It can just be on, on the top left corner, top right corner. It's still more than people would expect when they join a Zoom meeting. But everything that looks different is a little surprise to begin with. At least for me, when I, even when, when I join meetings, I know I remember the first time I saw Streamlive when I joined Paddy's and Grant's um, what is it called, Visu Visual Jam, then, yeah, please just type your your uh, location in the chat, and we'll, oh my God, what's that? And I started typing while Wakanda and, the, uh, I don't know, other uh, and uh, um, other places that don't exist just to see how it works. It was fun to use because it was new, although it was in a Zoom meeting. I'm just saying even little effects like this or having your camera rounded or having a little background. I can see it. Uh, Darwin, for example, um, has... Uh, a background, yeah, this looks different. It doesn't look like a regular Zoom call anymore. Uh, just looking at the time, oh, but we have, I'm here, so just um, in case, see if we have a few more questions and I will speed up. Uh, as you are often on butter, uh, why I not do this session on butter? Um, I just didn't want to add another tool. That's the whole point. Because I think everybody knows what Zoom is and everybody already joined the Zoom meeting. Um, and I just didn't want to introduce a new tool because it's not about the tool itself. This is about what you can do with your camera in every session independent of the tool. But you could also use um, Butter with, uh, if you like, although Butter has a lot of integrations already on board. I like to use Zoom some, when I demonstrate things because these things aren't in Zoom already, right? So there is no... Paul, there is a Paul feature. I know you have to install a plugin. I think, but I'm just I'm just saying um, the the um, the bar is is lower from all the things that are already there, so the show effect is, is larger. Okay, I hope this kind of makes sense. Um, Said, could Zoom participants use OBS or Streamlive to make their screens more interesting? Yeah, that's the whole point of it. So, using OBS to make a screen interesting—that's the whole point of this, and Streamlive. It's not about making your um, screen interesting. It's about interacting with the audience. And then you combine these two things. Right? So um, Streamlive itself, in my opinion, please correct me if I'm wrong, but it's more about the interaction, the engagement with the audience. You only have to use a chat and you can type in things. And we have a lot of features I haven't shown yet, but I will show another one maybe in two minutes. Um, we, we could do. So yeah, and then you can just combine things and have a lot of fun with them. Um, how do you include emojis uh, behind you? Yeah, that's a free plugin um, for, not even for Zoom or OBS, it's a free plugin for Chrome. Um, and it captures the, the, whatever is happening in the chat, also works with Zoom, Teams, YouTube, LinkedIn, whatever. And I just edit it as a layer between me and my wall, right? Um, and if you are wondering, hey, between him and his wall, what's wrong with this guy? Yeah, I'm in here twice. I, it's this, I keyed out myself, and then there's a second layer, a second Saeed you cannot see right behind me, and I put it in between. So that's the whole magic of, psh, don't tell anybody, I will edit it out of the recording. Um, can you make yourself smaller and the graphics to share larger um, and switch? Yeah, I can. So I can let, I can literally do this, and then you will see what I was talking about regarding the Said thing. So, see, I make Said a little bit smaller. There he is. And I could make the other graphic a little bit bigger, but I don't want to destroy my setup. But yeah, you can crop, zoom, uh, change the size, whatever you like. I'm running out of breath. So, hello, hello, joining late. Um, like to rewatch re the recording. Yes, um, Lux will send out the recording once it's uploaded um, to everybody who 
uh, sign up for today's session. Thanks a lot for still joining late. And uh, thanks to clear it out, it makes much sense. I forgot which question this was related to, but um, uh, the butter thing, right? Uh, okay, thanks. Okay, I think I'll, I'll run th through all the questions and I need a sip of coffee. Okay. <sighs> Inhale, exhale. Uh, shall we do one last, uh, maybe not the last thing, but shall we do something in stream live while we are here? And I will push your faces out of my room and put back stream live. Um, and this, I have a question. So you, you don't need to be honest, but I would appreciate it. My question is, um, how likely would you recommend a session like this in Zoom to your colleagues, your friends, or your mother-in-law? You can rate on a, a, between one and five, and the effect doesn't work out 100%, but I said I did it for the first time today. But you can see in my background the chart is going up, and... Just type the number one, two, three, four, or five, and this is a feature of Streamlive, and then I edit it to my screen. Unfortunately, I could have done a better job with that. Next time. So join me next time if you want to see the corrected version. And okay. And if I turn the chroma key off, this is what it looks like. So there are your answers. And if I want to, um, if I want to, I can also, because the question was there, I can also make this larger and move it around as I like. The, the, the transparency didn't work in this one, but it's okay. Okay. Um, by the way, I think there's a bug there. It's supposed to be 4.9, so just in case you're wondering. Um, yes, but th thanks for thanks for participating. I can see a lot of people who added the number, and there are still people joining, as you can see here. And you could use this just without OBS, just without the Stream Deck, without anything I showed. Um, if you have a, um, a Stream a Streamer Live account, you can add this via screen sharing, or if you're in Zoom, there is this Zoom integration. And you can still show this and people will still be mind blown. To, oh my God, I'm typing in a number in the chat and then something pops up on the screen, WTF, right? You never know um, where people come from. You know, if you're used to having just PowerPoint presentations 24 seven, and then you get something like this, that's what's re really interactive. This is mind blowing. Um, okay. Um, Okay, just re regarding the time, if you, for some reason, have to leave because you have better things to do than sitting around in a Zoom meeting, it's totally fine. Nobody will be judged. If you want to stay for us, I don't know, maybe you can spare five more minutes um, to answer some questions like Peter, F or do you have to rush? Yeah, I mean, that's absolutely fine. One okay. thing I was wondering if you could do, say, is on the stream live um screen that you have if you could just bring that up i just want to see the questions everyone had asked um you would have to navigate me so should we do this live i can screen share and we can do this live if you, if you yeah, like absolutely okay then um, there we are and screen sharing like a pro there we are and if you just go to the left hand menu yeah and Think th this one right yes yep. and then um quick the bottom left the, yeah bottom left big this, questions this, this one and yeah just say, just say go oh yeah. there, there they are okay and so um, <laughs> if a, a question was missed uh stream alive would always pick it up right I just, uh, on, on my side, I missed them because there was a lot going on in, in the chat, of course, with all the emojis and, and so on. And um, 
But however, you can see, um, I think this is chron chronological order. So in Streamlabs, it will track everything um, that kind of has a question mark at the end, or there are trigger words that recognize, um, it, was it a question or was it just something that's a comment? So that's, don't ask me for details, but roughly this is how it works. And even if you do a presentation, you can also use this one and screen share it, just like I'm doing right now. You're seeing myself, you're seeing yourselves, and you are seeing the questions, and you can just go through them and once a question is answered you can just check it off i'm learning live <laughs> okay i no i have to go to the last to the last comment um and then you can just my, my point was sorry my point was just you can uh, then check it off and you can see oh i already answered this one in the last q and a block and i answered this one and this one is not even a question it's a comment and so on and so on and so on okay I think most of them I already answered. The winning wheel, I prepared one and somebody was asking, it's Tina, why, why are you put me on a spotlight? So now somebody has to win something now, okay. Um, oh, okay, th this, is, this is totally fine and we will do that. Um, I would like to, however, just because I'm in the flow, I would like to still see if I can capture some of the questions that you had on my side and um, if you have time and bear with me uh, let me see where we stopped um, we had this one we had this one we had this one and we had this one and could you please mm, share them it's called um, stream ninja i have to look it up let me see it's called uh, 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 Social Stream Ninja, that's the uh, name of the plugin. The plugin itself, well, I'm not sure if it helps. You need something to to actually put it on. So like the virtual camera, you can just screen share emojis flying around without no context. Wouldn't be the same effect as um, having them integrated in Ecamm or OBS or any other cam uh, camera tool that supports overlays. Thanks, Darwin. Thanks a lot for joining. Probably already dropped off then say so you can integrate stream live into zoom via an app and then you don't have to screen share the answer is yes and i think the app is in the zoom market somehow you click on the apps and you look for stream live or you go to the stream live website and see how it works there or you ask peter tina or lux for further questions but bottom line yes it works and could you do metrics on participants' engagement? Yeah, I'm doing this right now, uh, the, the, the whole time. I haven't talked about it, but no, I, I did talk about it. So I can show it to you. Where is it? Uh, which button? Which button? This one. You can see this little 10 here. And because the font is so small, it's, it says um, active chatters in the last five minutes. And as soon as somebody who hasn't chatted in the last five minutes types in something in the chat, the number will go to nine, for example. Um, and now I can see, okay, there are 26 people and nine of them have chatted in the last five minutes, which is not really an indicator for something, right? If people are listening, it's also totally fine, but maybe for situations where you want people to chat or because we are, we are not uh, childish, we are childlike. Oh, there is something I can, I can influence by typing a, a poop emoji in the chat. Why not doing it? There is a certain reason um, why people like to watch live streams. You know, I'm not even talking about Fortnite or something, but there's stuff going on. There's interaction without the, the streamer that needs to talk to you. They can show your questions. They have all this pop-ups and nice things you don't need to overdo it but having something that reminds rather of a stream than a zoom meeting i think that's a great w approach um, for, a, for something to do in zoom and then last but not least question we have um, a question there it is oops i have too many buttons and i'm tired this one which tool do you use to, uh, to ground rule animations on the slide if you were talking about these ones this is made in obs and the graphics i created the graphics myself 
no, or combine them, uh, looking for a camera icon, adding uh, my uh, yellow color outline, and but the animations themselves, like having them popping in and out, um, this is made in OBS Studio. And I have four buttons on my Stream Deck where I know where they are, so I don't need to look. And I can just click on them and they automatically pop up on my screen, which makes it easier for me to focus on you and focus on the content and focus on engaging with you rather than, oh my God, I, wait a second. Oh, I shared the wrong screen again. Let me try again. Oh no. Can you hear me? Can you see me? I know you can see me. I know you can hear me. There is no other way because everything is happening on my camera. There's nothing you can hide from me. So um, if I can see myself, you can see myself, right? So um, just gives me the confidence to focus on the content and the connection rather than the tools. Okay, um, then Tina outed me and now I, mess it, now I messed it up because uh, I moved the window of my stream live uh, and now the effect won't work anymore. But however, 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 um, I of course would like to give away something for free and I hope I didn't close the stream live window. Where is it? Did I close? No, I didn't close it. So there it is. So, and I'm going back to screen share. Let's do it that way. And you, um, I, I didn't do anything. Stop it. Why does it spin? I don't know why it spins. I have to reset it. No, I don't. I can just take it this, this way. Is it, is it fine to take it this way? I'm asking that you, okay. Um, I have some stuff going on and I will first of all share with you my calendar and which is this one. I also do like trainings um, to teach people how to use a Stream Deck, how to use OBS Studio or how to use every tool known to mankind to create something cool for your video conferencing sessions. However, I have something uh, coming up on June 4th and June 6th. June 4th is the OBS essential. So installing it, getting started, adding your camera, adding your first slides maybe. Um, so just to have the thing running and then the rest is up to your creativity or you can follow up. And the other one is also if you have a stream deck or even if you don't have a stream deck but still want to use this effect and like you, using buttons to control zoom and so on. I have also a, a two hour course on June 6th. If you join today and you are still here, um, I would like to give away two free tickets so you can just join me in one of the sessions of your choice. So either it's OBS or it's the stream deck. You can just pick and um, when I spin the wheel, it will, this is um, made in stream live. It catches everybody who was in the chat and I could even add to it only people that have at least five comments or three comments or, and so on and so on. I don't know which settings I put in here, but it's okay. If your name pops up, you won one of the tickets and you can just um, join one of the sessions. And I will just start I will just start and then sorry there are no sound effects. Godana, I I'm I, I didn't we have already the, the no we didn't. I'm not sure. If you would like to join, then um this is recorded so I will remember your name and I can just DM you or you DM me um, with uh saying hey I want something, I will send you a coupon code so you can choose one of the sessions if it's fine for you. Okay, and then we will give it a second try. I never win anything. I don't know why. Joris doesn't need this because he had the full masterclass just last week. So in all fairness, you can rejoin if you like, Joris, you are welcome. But I know he's already somebody I had the pleasure with. So trying it again, we want to be fair. We really need sound effects, Lux. You know that, right? Steve, which Steve is it? Is Steve still here? There, would you like to join Steve? 
One of the sessions. Okay, awesome. Then um, please DM me on LinkedIn if, we, if you are connected or even if not. So I have your, uh, your full name and I can send you a coupon code. I, I don't have the, the uh, I don't have the con confetti overlay today. Otherwise, you would see confetti. So congratulations, both of you. Looking forward um, to see you next week. If there are any further questions, please just reach out. Um, we are 12 minutes over and you are still here. I'm just thinking, who the hell wants to stay longer in a Zoom call without no reason or being... F uh, so I think this is nice feedback that you still stayed, although this is only a Zoom call. So thanks a lot for, for that. And I'm here for two and a half more minutes. But what I will do is, just as we started, the same way I would like to end today's session. Let me just set up quickly so we can see your faces and we can see the chat still. And see you next time. Thanks a lot for joining. Thanks, Syed. That was a fantastic overview of what's possible. I uh, really enjoyed it. I think um, I need to make it a um, resolution to try out OBS. You're, you're welcome. Lux already tried it out. So if, if my laptop can handle it, we, we will figure it out. Please reach out. <laughs> I'm very happy to help. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Omi. Thanks I, a lot for joining. Oh. Yeah. Uh, awesome so we also, to, to we also do a, um, events every couple of weeks like this, um, workshops from uh, people with expertise in different areas. So I've just shared a link in the chat where you can find out where our upcoming events are. Um, it's on our Luma page just there. We've got a big event coming up about how to do marketing when you've got no budget. So we're really looking forward to that one. Thanks. Thanks a lot for everybody who joined. 30 plus people is a lot. And I like even more the fact that still half of you is still here. You can leave now if you like, but you can also enjoy the music. One of my favorite songs, um, it's from the movie Million Dollar Arm. If you haven't watched it, please I think it's on Amazon, I'm not sure. Go watch it now. It's one of my favorite movies and this song is the ending song. So, yeah, also in the chat, but please go uh, to the Stream Alive calendar on Luma to sign up for more events. There are more coming up. Thanks a lot. Oh, uh, uh, Lux, can you tell us? If you go on YouTube, million dollar arm end, uh, ending song. And it's R R R R Rahman, and I don't know the name of the track itself. I'm really not sure. Um, I'm, I'm really not sure what the name of the song is. I should know, but I always type in "million dollar arm um, ending song," and then I get it and can listen to it. Thanks, Godano. Woohoo! Woohoo! Yeah, you just have to type the words into YouTube. That's how you find it. But I, I'm pretty sure it's also a name of the uh, of the song, uh, one of my very favorites. And there is Peter Juniorette or Junior, Peter Junior, right? <laughs> one of the juniors. One of the juniors. Yes. Yeah. Hey, Ezra. He's come oh. to learn. He's come to learn how to use OBS, haven't you? You, you can never be yeah. too young to join boring Zoom meetings, right? No, he's he's going to become a YouTuber when he's older. I will use this on my website. Uh, my Zoom calls are so great, even toddlers join. So maybe this is something. <laughs> I can I can print it on a T-shirt. So that's awesome. Whoa! Awesome, awesome. What's this? And cats. There is a cat also somewhere. Maybe m in my background they run around here, but I don't pay attention anymore. Okay, then I will cut the recording.